Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Mercedes-Benz W124. All the hardware on the W124 has been tested by time and mileage, and he didn't have any specific transmission diseases. But age takes its toll. With real mileage of 500,000 km, most cars and with not the best service, purely resource problems begin to affect. Our WD cars with manual transmissions will generally require attention to the propeller shaft, its intermediate support, cross pieces and flanges, as well as the condition of the rear gearbox. With the gearbox, everything is simple. They usually miss the oil level, and when it changed, no one knows. In addition, few people change the elements of its suspension to the subframe. At the same time, the subframe itself is often already a little crocked and increased vibrations, dirty grease and lateral load finish off the adult bearing. Differential satellites usually refer to secondary damage. In case of contamination or loss of oil level, they stick, and now the gearbox is thrown away. Rare four-wheel drive cars have much more trouble, because front-wheel drive elements are extremely expensive. The traditional weak point of all 4 on passenger cars is the intermediate shaft through the engine tap sump. A new dispenser assembly about 7,000-8,000 euro and restoration about 2,000. The pallet of the dispenser is also a rarity. If the bearing seats are broken or damaged, a new one costs about 5,000 euros. Well, the front suspension is much more expensive here than in rear-wheel drive cars. Theoretically, during repairs, it is possible to put a transfer case from a later W210 or even W211, but theoretically because you will have to change it along with the motor. And on the way out, you get the Frankenstein. Most of the cars with pneumatics in case of breakdown are simply converted into a real wheel drive. Engines on cars with 4 Matic, most often in line 6, M103 or M104, will leave volume of 2.6 or 3.0 liters, but there are also 4 wheel drive turbo diesels. As for the automatic transmission in those years, Mercedes had everything in perfect order with this. The transmissions of the 722.3.3 and 722.4 series for a speed with proven purely hydraulic control and redundant lubrication systems, suffer only from the curvature of the draftsman and the wild run. The resource of such a box with regular oil changes and checking all oil seals is more than 500,000 km, so it can be considered eternal. In practice, they forget to change the oil, allow the transmission to overheat due to dirty radiators and low oil level, actively skid. You can be almost sure that something like this has happened over the long life of the car. So you need to be ready every day to repair the machine and have 1000, 1050, 100 euros of nest egg. Most often the inclusion of reverse gear suffers. Over time, the small springs of the activation piston are destroyed, and they or your remnants destroy the piston itself. Otherwise, the difficulties usually relate to either the banal, the banal wear of the clutches and brake bands, there are two of them, and the front is mostly worn out. Contamination and failures of the governor, the vacuum hydraulic control system, are usually associated with all contamination, aged springs and pneumatic leaks. The work requires high accuracy, so that troubles can be solved long and hard until a leak or contamination is found. That is why the replacement complete and put the mechanics solutions are very popular. This is clearly seen in the number of automatic transmissions on cars before and after restyling. The younger the car, the greater the proportion of those that have retained automatic transmission. Very rarely on cars produced after 1993 with the most powerful engines, there was also a 5-speed automatic transmission of the 722.5 series. By the way, this is the world's first 5-step. It appeared in 1990 and at that time turned out to be one of the most progressive transmissions in the world. In fact, mechanically it differs little from the 722.3, they just added the 5th gear to it and that's it. But the control system is already half electronic. There is no first lockup on the torque converter as in older boxes, so the service life of the gas turbine engine is very long, and the oil contamination is slow. Later, based on the mechanics of this automatic transmission, they will make the super popular 722.6, a hit of the early 2000s. And 722.5 remained not the most successful incident, the design was not brought purely mechanically. Failures of the fifth gear happened quite often, a loss of oil pressure in its chain led to damage to the pump sleeve and a miss oil level led to the death of the gas turbine oil seal and overheating. But the general assessment of the reliability of the structure is the same as that of its basic design, 722.3. It is almost eternal, but when a number of conditions for ma maintenance and elimination of childhood diseases are met. If you find a car with this automatic transmission, you can buy it. But know that it will be an order of magnitude more difficult to find a contract one. You cannot buy a working unit for 10,000. You will have to pay from 30,000 rubles for a more or less live one, and it is more sensitive to all. With engines, the situation is ambiguous. 
On the one hand, the workmanship of all motors is very high, some are still running without major repairs. On the other hand, the costs are more than enough because strong, strong iron doesn't guarantee trouble-free operation at this age. The most common W124 engines had four cylinders, and before styling this is mainly the M102 series, simple 812 engines with a volume of 2.0 and 2.3 liters. Traction is not very much, especially in 2-liter ones, but they provided the dynamics acceptable even with automatic transmission, while they were in good order, of course. On early cars, there was a version with an electronically controlled Stromberg 175 CDT carburetor. The carburetor is a pretty reliable thing, but over time its setting usually flowed away, and the mess with maintenance in the 90s led to the fact that most of the cars had damaged and misaligned control system. Carburetor is not much of the Solix, the design is more complicated, but in fact most of them have long been changed to domestic counterparts. Specialists as always are not enough, and carburetor variations were brought by the most economical owners. Injection machines with KE Gitronic lasted longer, a very successful mechanical injection system worked without any problems for 10 years, before the first problems began. But then it suddenly turned out that not everywhere could solve her problems with a guarantee. A visit to the first service that came across or even to a dealer led to only one result, the system was damaged. It's not that the system is too complicated, but it doesn't have much self-diagnostics. You need to work with your head and amount, the master is not everyone is capable of this, if not worse. Then was 10-15 years ago. Now people who can repair or adjust a mechanical electronic with the help of the pressure gauges, brains and straight arms are worth they weight in gold. For the most part you have to either act at random, changing the elements and cleaning the system, since it sometimes helps, or change the assembly which is very expensive. For example, just one Spencer key injectronic AK shovel cost about 500-600 euros. Sometimes the kind of mechanical injection is simply replaced with a conventional electronic one, for example with a January controlled from base, VAZ. Yes, this is a Frank collective farm and if you make a car of a collection, then this is not your method. And if you just drive, then the decision is not the worst. At the same time, it will be possible to remove a simple ignition system with a conventional distributor and vacuum control which relied on the M102 motors. Let's move on to typical resource problems. The camshafts run in more than 150,000 km, the valve stem seals are also not very successful, once every 60-100,000 they need to be replaced, otherwise the oil consumption begins to grow. The wiring is crumbling, the cooling systems after 20 years of life flows and groans, the crankiest ventilation systems clogs up and in general the engine wears out. But if the air filters and oil were changed regularly and not for testing, Spare parts were supplied by decent brands and the control system didn't fool too frankly, then the engine has every chance to go through its 5000 before overhaul. And even the timing chain on the M102 is changed with runs of more than 300,000, since it is regularly changed by a broach and the resource of the tensioners is very large. You are unlikely to come across an original timing kit with the low resource which was installed before 1987. Usually these engines have been rolled out for a long time, but due to the simplicity of the design, there is a chance that you will be lucky and the budget for a full restoration of operability will not be so great. Before the second restyling, during which the model acquired the name E-Class, there were engines with full electronic injection HFM 2.2 or PMS 2.0. Cars with such engines turn out to be noticeably less troublesome to maintain, even despite the fact that the system is much more complicated, with systems for capturing fuel vapor and neutralizing exhaust gases. M111 engines were registered for a long time under the hoods of Mercedes, they were installed on the C-Class W203 before restyling, and they have proven themselves very well. The cylinder head is 16 valve, so that in addition to higher reliability, they are also more powerful than their predecessors. The main problems are oil leaks and leaks. Less often, the oil pump, its chain and the timing mechanism itself fail. Oil leaks occur mainly due to the unsuccessful crankcase ventilation system and age. The rubber of the tubes literally creeps, and the sudden and gaskets squeeze out. The old pump and timing mechanism sometimes still need to be checked and listened to the sounds of their work. With a mileage of more than 200-250,000 km, the timing belt should be replaced completely, and not only by changing the chain by pulling. And at the very last, you should look at the tensioners and chain ring very closely for wear. The total resource of the piston group and cylinder head is usually more than 350-500,000 km with high quality and regular maintenance, but there are enough minor troubles. Fortunately, unlike the M102, there is no need for specialist specialists in carburetors and mechanical injection. The parts only need to be changed, which is fully consistent with the modern style of service. 
An additional advantage of the motor is the age of the contract units. In case of service problems, you can always take a more fresh motor from 2000s. The cylinder block and cylinder head are about the same. There is still enough resource with the margin and the price are low. Larger motors of the M103 series differ from the Forest except that the carburetors were not installed here, and the KJ G-Tronic injection system differs minimally in consumer qualities and maintenance, otherwise everything is the same. And an unpleasant feature is the low resource of the timing chain in any version. Due to torsional vibrations of a long crankshaft, it often scratches after 120-150 thousand mileage. This is a decent resource for modern engines, but the chain is not audible or mid-seaters, and in general the owners are not used to such frequent maintenance. So the owners of the W124 had a lot of complaints about this. For the rest, just more powerful motors than the M102. M104 motors with a 24 valve cylinder head are one of the legends of the model. The first 3.0 family appeared back in 1990 on the 300E24 version, but basically these engines are found on cars after 1993 restyling with indexes 280, 300 and 320. On the W124 they are equipped with the Bosch L8 Jetronic injection system and an EZL ignition system. Sometimes there are upgraded options with a control system from the W140. E210 Motronic and a phase regulator, which is somewhat more reliable and has cheaper components, but apparently this is the result of tuning. The engine is almost eternal, only it doesn't like the slightest overheating. From this leads a, sl a long cylinder head. He also doesn't like dirty oil, which greatly affects the oil pump and oil nozzles. The rest is a typical Mercedes millionaire, and even the timing chain resource here is usually over 300. Age related problems do not disappear anywhere. The motors are flowing, the intake losses its tightness. And the wiring must monitored in both directions, but in general the motors are excellent and have shown themselves well in operation. Diesel engines are rarely found on the W124, although there were a lot of them in Europe. The reason is most likely that if the fuel equipment, injectors and unkillable inline injection pump are damaged, it is too expensive to restore the car and it is sent for analysis. Everything seems to be reliable, but the years take their toll. And even the absolutely iron motors of the OM601 M0602 series are gradually leaving the race. And the nature of the car with such an engine is absolutely cargo. Naturally aspired diesel engines, unlike modern ones, absolutely do not pull and do not spin. There is a lot of noise, little sense. And the fuel consumption is not much less than that of gasoline and ones. Such cars came uh, to us already with half a million runs, so that another 250-300 thousand run over on over diesel fuel can be considered the limit for the design. Nevertheless, some examples are found. Not so long ago, we tested the diesel S124 with a range of 1.3 million kilometers. On this information about the problems of Mercedes-Benz, W124 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.